Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the battery life of the XPS 13 9300. We're going to be testing it on how it performs in media consumption, gaming, creating content and how fast it charges. So you're able to get up to a 19 hour battery life with the XPS 9300. But depending on what you use it for, that battery life can be shortened by a, well, a great amount. So for example, let's start with media consumption. How long will one battery last whilst watching Netflix? Well, I've done the test and as you can see, it actually lasted a lot longer than I was expecting. So it went up to eight hours and 30 minutes plus. So in perspective, that's essentially a whole season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is what we tested it on, and a few episodes. So if that's not enough for you, I'm not sure what more like Dell can do, because that, to be honest, I was waiting for the battery to die. I couldn't wait for the battery to die. I wanted to go sleep. I started recording this at eight o'clock in the evening and it didn't stop until four o'clock in the morning. In hindsight, I probably should have started recording a lot sooner, but hey, the battery life is amazing when it comes to media consumption. So that's a big thumbs up. The next test was on gaming. And again, the XPS 13 went past my expectation. It surprised me at how well it actually handled this area. Remember, this device isn't made for gaming. It wasn't designed for gaming. This device was designed for media consumption and content creation. So the fact that it actually lasted how long it did considering the games I played, I was very impressed and happy with the results. So the games I decided to play on this machine was Apex Legends, um, played a bit of League of Legends and also some Command and Conqueror 3. All three of those played relatively well. Uh, as you can imagine with Apex Legends, we did suffer from uh, well frame rate issues. FPS was at the lowest, 15, at the highest, 27. Um, when it came to League of Legends, as you can expect, it's not that graphically inclined, so you was able to have a very good experience with that. When it came to Command and Conqueror, again, the experience was very well. So here's my advice when it comes to gaming on this machine. Don't expect to do any heavy, uh, heavy gaming on the machine. If you are wanting to do heavy gaming, go for a gaming dedicated device. Don't go for the XPS 13. If you're wanting to do light gaming, such as League of Legends or Command and Conqueror or strategy based games or simple games even, then the XPS 13 will excel in this area more than you expect. Now let's look at how good the battery life is when it comes to content creation. I'm actually going to be using this device to edit this video right now and a few others that I've prepared. Uh, if you want to check out the other videos, check out the YouTube channel and you'll be able to find more of the videos there that I've edited on this device. As for how long the battery lasts, well, you can see for yourself. Again, this device was made for content consumption and content creation. And in those areas, it performs magnificently. And finally, how long does it take to charge? So, zero to 100% without using the fast charge settings will take you roughly about two hours and 30 minutes. If you are using the fast charge settings, you should be able to get up to 80% of charge within an hour. So that was the battery test for the XPS 13 9300. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. I'm a gaming enthusiast, a car enthusiast, and a tech enthusiast. So if you like any of those things, then make sure you do hit that like or subscribe button because I will be posting on all those areas. Check out my channel right now to check out what videos I have available. I said check way too many times there. <laughs> Anywho, peace out. Catch you on the next one. Bye. So we're going to do a very important test right now. Uh, this was suggested by a subscriber uh, at Mike V. Thank you for getting in touch and, uh, you know, well, getting this video made essentially. So we've got a sound meter over here, which tells us how loud everything is. So as I'm talking right now, as you can see, it just says um, normal conversation, moderate rainfall, which is uh, correct because we've got a little bit of rain outside. Um, so the meter is measuring correctly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the meter so everything is fresh. 
Uh, actually, I'll reset it before I start. Let me explain what's going on here very quickly. So every single Dell machine has uh, Waves Max Audio uh, Pro built into it. Well, you get the Pro version when you go for the XPS range. Um, what this does, it allows you to control your audio settings uh, to the way that you'd like it. So what I've done, I've pretty much turned everything off. I'm going to turn everything off actually. So this, turn off. And we're going to turn this one off. And we're going to test how the volume um, reflects on each of these machines. So on the right, I have the brand new 9300. And on the left, I have the predecessor XPS 13. So right now, let's get to it. So reset. We're going to start with the old XPS 13, so let's put the volume at 100% and then let's see how that plays. This job is eating me alive. I can't breathe anymore. I spent all these years trying to be the good guy, the man in the white hat. I'm not becoming like them. I am them. Hey! What are you doing, weirdo? I'm doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. Or actually, ten of me are doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. What's up? Now let's test that out on the new XPS 13. This job is eating me alive. I can't breathe anymore. I spent all these years trying to be the good guy. The man in the white hat. I'm not becoming like them. I am them. Hey, what are you doing, weirdo? I'm doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. Or actually, ten of me are doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. What's up? Get it. Straight away, I can tell you that the XPS 13 9300 has a much clearer and louder audio. It also surrounds the room and fills the room um, better. Now let's turn on waves on both machines. Let's increase the bass to 50%. And let's increase the detail to 30% and the width to 50%. And let's try that scene again. This job is eating me alive. I can't breathe anymore. I spent all these years trying to be the good guy, the man in the white hat. I'm not becoming like them. I am them. Hey, what are you doing, weirdo? I'm doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. Or actually, 10 of me are doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. This job is eating me alive. I can't breathe anymore. Spent all these years trying to be the good guy, the man in the white hat. I'm not becoming like them. I am them. Hey, what are you doing, weirdo? I'm doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. Or actually, ten of me are doing the best speech. Hands down, no comparison. This is way, way better. So, thank you again, Mike V, for bringing this to my attention and making me do this test and I can honestly say the 9300 has a much more superior audio experience.